Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. This kit is called Diana and is by Maria Abanyal and is going to be releasing tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 23rd at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get half an hour early access window, which you should either get a text or email notification of, or if you're logged into your account, you should see uh, the new releases under new arri arrivals once that early access window starts. So this artwork, I am particularly looking forward to and really incredibly happy to see at Diamond Art Club. Um, this is actually some artwork that I have worked on in the past from another company. I was not very happy with how it turned out. And so when Diamond Art Club picked up this artist, I was absolutely hoping that this was going to be a piece that we would see eventually um, get picked up. And, you know, I love a comparison project. So please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me work on this. And uh, hopefully I'm going to have a lot better experience. This is going to have square shaped diamonds, 23.6 by 28.4 inches or 60 by 72 centimeters and these vibrant colors you guys i've seen some kits from this artist completed at diamond art club i've unboxed a few here and they do such a great job with these vibrant vibrant colors i am oh i'm really excited to open up this one of you guys but first let me give you just a quick tour the features so um there's blue branding here which you'll see with their square drill diamond painting kits and on the back you'll find some information about how to diamond paint i'll also have my diamond painting for beginners video linked in the description box below if you are new and want some uh, helpful tips and tricks to get started here are your kit contents written out for you in a few languages and then here is a qr code at the bottom that you can scan for um, 10 percent off your purchase. Now, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very first purchase, I do have a discount code you're welcome to use. That is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Um, that is, however, an affiliate code, so I may make a small commission should you choose to use it and don't at all feel obligated. You're going to see a number of discount codes just in this video. And all I say is really, at this point, Diamond Art Club doesn't want you paying full price, so just make sure you take advantage of some sort of discount code to um, save a bit on your purchase. So let me get this pulled out to take a look at. There's a little sticker. All right. So let's take a look at the toolkit that's been included. You will see the contents of the toolkit written on the back. And I find the Diamond Art Club's toolkits are pretty, pretty thorough and pretty comprehensive. And they're a solid option that's on the market right now, for sure. You're going to get a pen and a squishy. The color on those is going to vary. That's sparkly. And then we have some thin plastic multi-placers. If you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time, you can just pop that into the end of your pen. We also have um, some wax. There's a couple little pink hearts in here. And there is a thin plastic film on these. I just want you to make sure, to make sure you're aware of. You want to peel that back before you try to load up your pen. We've also got a tray and a tray stopper. That will help stop the diamonds from sliding out. We have a bag of baggies, which you can store your leftover diamonds in if you like. We also have some tweezers. These are sharp. I do like to keep the cover on when I'm not using them. And then we've also got here a roll of washi tape. The print on this is going to vary. It won't necessarily match your kit, but uh, I find this to be handy. And I have a video that I have linked below about how, where, when, and why I use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. Um, if you'd like to see, you know, a demo and an explanation of that. You're also going to get a cover minder. The style on this will vary. This is a cute shell. Actually, that's really pretty. There's magnets on the back. You can use this to hold back the plastic cover of the area you're working on. Though Diamond Art Club has been adding uh, this newer feature, which I'm guessing this kit will have, of a perforated plastic cover. And that means that you might not necessarily need that cover minder if you don't want to use it. But I'll show you on the canvas once we get to it. Uh, we'll see if they have it. You're also going to get this smaller logbook sticker. I do use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I love that it has the original artwork and some information about it as well. I think it's just, it's nice to have in my logbook. Some people use it in the, on the side of the box to help organize their stash a little bit better, or you can find something else crafty to do with it if you like. Everything else is going to be included in this plastic sealed dust cover bag. And looks like this will be the bottom. All right, it's the moment of truth. <laughs> Please let these colors be better, you guys. That is a promising start. Oh, look at those just gorgeous, those gorgeous neons. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
Yeah, no, look at that color palette. Dang, that looks good. All right, here's a quick look at the canvas. I want to see these colors on the canvas. <laughs> Her face, it has really, really striking um, features and I'm curious to see what the colors of the diamonds will look down. Um, but I do like what I am seeing so far at first glance. <gasps> this is exciting to unroll this, you guys. It's been like three and a half years. I'm so happy what I'm seeing though. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, I kind of want to, kind of want to see. Okay. But first, let me, let me, before I get carried away here, let me show you what else is included. So there's a thank you note from the founder in here. There's your kit contents written out for you again. Here's a QR code that'll take you to a beginner video. Again, I'll have one linked below as well. This is the VIP Facebook group, which you can join once you've made your first purchase. Make sure your um, your name on Facebook matches your name on the Diamond Art Club website, and that's how they know to add you accurately. Uh, it is a handy resource. And then there's some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, as well as some tips and tricks and yet another discount code. And then here are QR codes that will take you to the mobile app. And you do get 20% off your first purchase through the app, which is you know, a nice offering. Again, lots of discount codes out there, you guys. Diamond Art Club also does include this larger sticker sheet. Here you can see that original artwork. You can see just how very stylized this artwork is, very characteristic of this artist's work. You kind of look at the original artwork here and then look at the render on the canvas. Yeah, I, I, I need to see how this looks. <laughs> okay, there's also the title up here, Diana by Maria Avignal. And my apologies if I'm mispronouncing that last name. Here's the start and end date, a spot you can write those if you like. Here are the stats again. And then over here on the right, we do have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. So um, Diamond Art Club uses the DMC color code system, which is what you'll see here in the right-hand side. There are a couple of exceptions when it comes to Diamond Art Club though. So first, Anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. So we're going to have one AB color in this kit, 130. Then if you look at the end of your color list, there's a, ooh, there's a few things here to point out. So first, at the very end of the color list, you will occasionally see colors that have a letter at the beginning. In this case, we have three that have the letter Z. That's going to be a uh, fairy dust color. The letter L, which... um. I'm like blanking. It's not electro. Is I, This is either going to be an iridescent or glow in the dark. I'm actually blanking on if, which of those two it's going to be, but I'll know once we're actually looking at the diamonds. So stay tuned. And then, uh, so we'll have those four different special drill colors. And then you may also sometimes see some colors that are in the 6,000s range. This is exclusive to Diamond Art Club. They make all their diamonds in house and they have noticed that there are some gaps in what the DMC color code system offers. And they've gone, hey, that's okay. We make our own diamonds and colors. Let's make some colors to fill those gaps. And it looks like we're gonna have maybe a couple of purples in here in that 6,000s range. Those aren't gonna be special drills. They are just gonna be colors that you're not otherwise gonna find you know, in the DMC color code system with other companies. Uh, so let me take you on a tour of the canvas now. So up here at the top, you'll find their branding. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You shouldn't have to worry about any fraying on your Diamond Art Club canvas. The backing is really, really soft and plush. I, I like the material a lot. I find that it's really enjoyable and easy to diamond paint on, which is important to me. And it lays flat nicely and holds the diamonds well. They use poured glue on their canvases that is very sticky. I don't usually have any trouble with diamonds falling off my canvases. And it looks like, yes, this plastic cover does feature a relatively new thing that they have added, which is a perforated plastic cover. You can kind of see the lines catching the light there. Uh, so these sections, the full size sections that aren't on the ends necessarily are four by four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters roughly. And you can either choose to ignore this perforated cover if you prefer to work with your paintings in a different way, or if you do choose to use it, the perforation will just split if you just tug like that. So um, that is an option. And yeah, so that's, that is um, on this kit and is on, I think about most of the new, new releases going forward. Forward. We do have a color list or a legend up here at the top left with all 65. I didn't mention that earlier. 65 colors on this kit, uh, in this kit. And then that same legend is going to be over here at the bottom right. Down at the bottom left, uh, we're going to have the stats, the thumbnail, and then copyright. I always like to point this out because this is, this is important to me um, and a lot of other crafters as well. 
copyright. This means that the artist has both given permission for and is being compensated for the use of their artwork by Diamond Art Club as a diamond painting. This is the case with all of Diamond Art Club's kits. They're all legally licensed or in the case of like some old master's pieces, part of the public domain. And with crafting, with theft, theft being a little too common uh, in the crafting world, I'm all about supporting companies that are doing right by artists. Here we have their socials and yet another discount code. And then at the bottom right, there's a little bit of information about their lifetime warranty. You can find all the details, I believe, on their website. And if you run into issues with, you know, your canvas or running out of any colors or anything like that, I believe you can just contact their customer support and they'll take you from there, as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit. Uh, looking up close, we do have really nicely, clearly printed symbols from what I can see so far. Um, I'm seeing some of what we call color blocking, like here we've got a lot of the same color in a small area. I'll be using my multi-placer in an area like this and it will go a bit faster because that color will be in my tray for longer. We do also have some areas of what we call confetti. This almost looks like literal confetti just sprinkled in here. Confetti is when you have more color changes in a small area and you'll be changing out the color in your tray more often. You know, these you might be doing more in the way of single placing, but the nice thing is you typically get some better like color blending and some more details as well as i am looking through this canvas up close it's it's taking me back it's taking me back three and a half years to when i worked on the other one from another company and just the issues that i had with it and truly at first glance i am just seeing evidence that those issues are not going to be the case here uh fingers crossed though there is her face oh my goodness and then like the crown on her head and the moon oh my that's got to have special drills in it. It just, it has to. And then the unicorn's face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks so pretty. And I really, I truly have seen some gorgeous finishes by this artist at Diamond Art Club. And I am, oh man, the anticipation is there. I need to see how this one's going to look. But yeah, no, the printing and everything that I'm seeing just on the canvas looks pretty good you guys looks good looks good let me grab my measuring tape and we'll just do a quick measurement make sure we are true to size um okay i always i always like to double check the diamond art club is 99.99 percent of the time uh true to size nearly down to the tenth of a millimeter of a centimeter here um we're at 72 by um a little bit over 60 and we're listed as 60 so yeah, I'm going to call that true to size, you guys. So let me grab the diamonds. I have got to see the special drills that are going to be in this kit. We'll take a look together. So there's the color spread again. There is a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with in case you store these separate from the canvas outside the box they came in. Let's look. There that is again. Gosh, the colors in this artist's artwork are just... Man, they're so good. They're so good. Okay, so in these strands here, we have these packs of diamonds. The DMC code is going to be printed on the bag. And they do have the line underneath that tells you which way is right side up because there are some DMC codes that if you flip them upside down, will make another DMC code that is also <laughs> like correct. So um, that's just a little added feature. And all Diamond Art Club, like I said earlier, when we were talking about colors in the 6000s range, Diamond Art Club does make all their diamonds in-house, their rounds, and their squares. This is a square drill kit, like I mentioned earlier. And I have found that their square drills generally are pretty solid in terms of quality. I find that they're pretty consistent in size and shape, and that I run into very little trash. Um, occasionally, there will be a dark color, like 310, that I might have some trash, but I've always had enough to complete my canvas. Here we have our first special drill color at 130. This is our first and only AB diamond in this kit. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Let me zoom you in here. Um, and these are named after the Northern Lights. If you take a look at the tops of these diamonds, there is a super sparkly iridescent coating on there that is very bold. But actually for an AB, this is pretty true to the original base color in my opinion, which is not always the case with the color AB colors. This is just ultra sparkly and is absolutely going to catch your eye and draw your eye to the areas it has been charted in. Now, of course, we're going to go through the canvas together after we look at all the diamonds. Um, we will go through the canvas together and I am absolutely going to point out to you where these different special drill colors will be found. Now, here is our first fairy dust color, Z993. 
Now fairy dust colors, they are different from ABs. They are still a special drill, but they have, instead of that big, like um, kind of more flashy iridescent coating, these have almost a glitter coating that has been brushed on the top. These have a subtle shimmery effect and are actually my favorite special drill type that Diamond Art Club offers. I think these are just lovely. And like I said, have a more subtle effect, but definitely stand out from regular diamonds. So there's our first fairy dust color, kind of an aqua teal. These bright, happy colors though. My goodness, so, 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 so pretty. Here's our next fairy dust color, Z3689. This is a really pale pink. You can still see that shimmer there. It is subtle, but it is there. Love it. And let's keep rolling here. Right, so here's some bright blues. I'm also keeping an eye out for, I might have missed them, but those 6,000 range colors, just so I can point them out to you. That pink though, my gosh. Is that maybe in the unicorn's mane? I wonder. Love it. My gosh, I can't get over it. You know what? These colors are what originally drew me to this artwork. I also, I'm a sucker for um, mythological figures. Oh, you guys, here's our first 6,000 range colors. Hold that thought. Uh, this one's a, a kind of, is a gray. It's not purple. So I was just looking at the kind of symbol color wrong. So apparently this shade of gray is one that doesn't quite exist in DMC. Um, and then, okay, so L5200 is an iridescent diamond or a crystal diamond. I need to know where this goes. <laughs> we'll find out together in just a moment, but iridescent diamonds have this mirror backing. The mirror backing you're seeing is gonna cover up the symbol completely because there is this kind of semi-translucent, semi-transparent crystal. My camera's not cooperating, there you go. Um, crystal effect on the top. They call these iridescent diamonds, but it's essentially a crystal. And these you don't see in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits, but my gosh, when they find a kit and artwork that it works in, it's it's amazing. It's stellar. So I'm excited to see where this one goes, especially a pretty square crystal like that. Love it. And then I think there should maybe be one more fairy dust color in here. I think. Let's take a look. This is the last strand, and if you were curious, Diamond Art Club puts their um, these heat sealed packs in order roughly of weight as opposed to like a DMC order. Here's our last fairy dust color. Z907 is a lime green fairy dust. Just a small bag of this one, but we will take a look. My guess is gonna be maybe in the moths. I have to guess, but we'll see. There's our other 6,000 range color. It's a light purple, 6011. Another color that just might not, must not quite exist in the DMC. <laughs> a couple of greens here at the end, just these small bags of these, tiny bag of white. <laughs> Most of the white colors, the white symbols we're seeing on here must be that iridescent color, but let's find out. We're gonna start at the bottom and I'll ask that you um, bear with me as I try to find all of our special drill colors. Just as a refresher, we have our one yellow AB color. We have three fairy dust colors, the lime green, the aqua teal, and the light pink. And then we have the clear iridescent uh, crystal type kind of color. So um, right off the bat, a lot of these stars we're seeing have the yellow AB in them. And, and some of these yellow dots that are sprinkled throughout um, the horse's body here are the yellow AB as well. And then um, like the fletching on the arrows has some yellow AB in it too. Um, then the white you see sprinkled throughout here the, all that white that's sprinkled throughout here, that is gonna be that clear iridescent color. The same goes for the white you see over here, kind of this X. These sprinklings and all the sprinklings on here, that's all um, the clear iridescent diamond. Um, and it goes up here as well. The white sprinkled through here is white iridescent and these yellow stars and these yellow spots are the yellow AB. And then let's see, uh, the pink fairy dust, that really, really pale pink fairy dust color, there is, there's a little line of it right here, a little line of it right here. And do I see any in the horse's mane so far? Uh, this is um, her bow. There's a little bit of the pink, pale pink fairy dust right here, down here on the bow. And then, okay, in her hair, there we go. I was like, we've, we've gotta be some more here. Uh, right here, there's a little highlight of that aqua teal fairy dust. There's also some right here. In camera, it's the one that looks like kind of seafoam green, 
which maybe that's a better color descriptor for that fairy dust. So yeah, the highlights of her hair are that color. There's some of that same kind of seafoam green fairy dust over here, right here, along here and here. And then as we get into the moss, I do, yes, we do have some of the lime green fairy dust is, it's kind of the darker green you're probably seeing in camera. This moth has some of it as well. And then just make sure, okay, the horse's mane over here has the pale pink fairy dust color in it. And let me make sure, um, her lips, oh no, that's just the regular white color. That's not the iridescent color but in the center of each of her eyes is the clear iridescent crystal effect color. Actually, same in the unicorn's eye. <laughs> there's one dot of the clear iridescent color. Um, there's more of the pale pink fairy dust here and right here. And then there's a, those white dots you see here, that's the clear iridescent color. The yellow right here is yellow AB and the um, I'm just checking because like I said, there's a lot happening and I just want to make sure I am not missing it, but if I can help it, we're going to hop back over here with me, uh, you guys. There is quite a lot of the seafoam fairy dust throughout her hair. That's just going to give her hair a little bit more shimmer. There's, there's a lot of it. This moth has some of the lime green fairy dust as well as a little bit of the yellow AB. I did miss it. This, this moth has some yellow AB as well right here. And then... Let's see, okay, in her crown, there's a yellow AB. A lot of the bright yellow you're seeing in here is yellow AB. And then we also have, there's the white dots are the clear iridescent color in here. There's yellow AB over here. This moon, the bright yellow you're seeing is yellow AB. And the outlines, is that right? Yes, okay, so the white outlines you see through here in camera and this over this way that is all that clear iridescent color yes i love it there is some pale pink fairy dust in her crown right here and a little bit in here here's some more of the yellow ab right here and then a little bit more of that clear iridescent color sprinkled throughout um and then we're almost there to the top over here in this moth. We do have some of the lime green fairy dust, a little bit of the yellow AB, actually a little bit of the pink fairy dust down here. This white sprinkling is that clear iridescent color as is the sprinkling down here. And then as we come over here into the moon, there is yellow AB kind of intermittently throughout. If I show you up close, it is the number one. That is our yellow AB color that you'll see through parts of the moon here. Not the moon in her brow, but like the moon up here. <laughs> and then uh, there's a little bit of pink fairy dust, light pink fairy dust. It's kind of this wand symbol right here. There's more yellow AB um, going on up here and a little bit of a pale pink fairy dust right there. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> okay, you guys, I think that this is really amazing use of that clear iridescent color in particular. And the yellow AB is also a favorite of mine in this particular kit. I think those are going to really help this uh, artwork stand out as a diamond painting, especially like the yellow AB and the stars down here. Um, I like the lime green fairy dust in the moths. I think that's going to help them just stand out just a little bit, but without it like kind of taking over the picture. So um, if I were going to add maybe some enhancements, I feel like maybe the unicorn's horn a little bit, it would be neat. But I... <laughs> I just, I'm so happy. I'm so incredibly happy uh, going through this with you guys and getting a closer look at it because it just, um, I'm incredibly optimistic. I think this looks so good. It helps that I have seen Diamond Art Club knock this artist's work out of the park when it comes to how they've done her diamond paintings, justice in such a nice way. And so like my, my expectations are really high. Um, and I'm really hoping that this is going to meet them. And I am really feeling good about, I think it, I think it may. So, um, what's really neat as well is that the size on this one is 60 by 72 centimeters. It's very, very similar to the other one that I've done. And it would really honestly be, I think a really solid kind of comparison, uh, kit. So if you're interested in seeing that comparison, please let me know in the comments below. If you're like, no, just work on it because you enjoy it. 
that's totally fair too. <laughs> Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like the way that this is looking? Is this one going to be on your shopping list? Have you have you worked on a kit by this artist from Diamond Art Club before? Um, there are a few. There's a kind of magic. Um, there's somewhere of the rainbow. And there, is there another one? But yeah, so I'm, I'm loving it. Definitely go and take a look. On the reviews on the website, you can sometimes see people will post pictures of their completed kits if you want to see some examples of how this artist's work is looking with Diamond Art Club. Really quick recap for you. This piece is titled Diana, as in the Roman goddess, and uh, is by Maria Abignal, 60 by 72 centimeters, um, and has 65 colors, square diamonds. We got that one AB, three fairy dust, one iridescent, and is coming out tomorrow, Saturday, March 23rd. Uh, that is going to be at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. For Ruby and Diamond Tier Awards members, you do get that early access window, half an hour early. Set your alarms, you guys. Let me know if this or any of the other new releases this week are going to be on your shopping list. I would love to hear your thoughts. And please subscribe if you like this kind of diamond painting content and want to see a lot more, including if I do a comparison with this particular kit. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you an awful lot. Happy shopping this weekend, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.